Daniel, these flaming balloons making their appearance on Monday, yet no overnight response from the Israeli army. Why not? Well, Benita, we've seen uh, these incendiary balloon launches in the past not being met with an Israeli military response. Now, in recent months, we saw this uh, phenomenon really um, in increasing in severity and frequency. We saw hundreds of fires in southern Israel. In the last three days, we have consistently been hearing the reports of explosions generally caused by those explosive-laden balloons, even today with reports uh, of explosions near the uh, Gazan city of Khan Yunus, but it is assumed that that was due to incendiary balloon launches. But even at, at the peak of this, uh, really, this threat emanating from Gaza, we didn't necessarily always see the IDF responding. It seems as though the Israeli defense establishment as a whole wants to tread carefully because they understand that the situation here, uh, as has been proven time and time again, can really spiral out of control. And for now, while the explosions have continued to ring out in southern Israel for the past three days, we haven't seen the situation becoming more severe. We haven't seen seen those fires started, and that might be a part of the consideration of the Israeli defense establishment. But as you mentioned, Benita, and as was really uh, echoed by some of the local security officials here, is that this phenomenon has been reignited. We have seen the resurgence of the incendiary balloon launches. Uh, they don't see it as a sporadic sort of incident. They now see it as a pattern. We'll see whether or not it does continue. Um, but as I mentioned, we're not seeing it at the frequency uh, as we did just a couple months ago when there were really dozens of fires each day in southern Israel. So, Daniel, what is the latest now on those reports that Cairo wants to renew efforts to mediate a prisoner swap between Hamas and Israel briefly? Right. So we know that there was a Hamas intelligence delegation in Cairo earlier this week. They've been discussing potential um, uh, movements and progress as relates to that prisoner swap. Egypt also taking issue with Hamas's recent warming up to Turkey. Not really recent, a historical connection there. But Egypt is trying to solidify its role as the main mediator here and certainly not pleased with seeing Hamas also uh, consulting with Turkey, who is trying to also find a way, get a foothold in the Gaza Strip as well, Benita. Thank you so much. Defense correspondent Daniel Tzemach, live from the Israel.